Hello everyone, I'm Olga Vaskan and welcome to our virtual English class. So, let's start. And the topic we are going to focus on today is on the farm. Today at the lesson we will do the following things. We will learn new vocabulary words related to our topic, we will revise how to make plural sentences and we will also read and talk about the farm. So this is our plan. If you are ready, let's get started. Think about what animals live on the farm. Do you know? Okay, you do. And probably you answered dog, cow, hen, horse, pig, duck and many other animals. So today we will learn some other animals and words related to the topic. So if you want to take notes, then grab your pens, copy books and let's start. So the first vocabulary word is sheep. Sheep. Let's continue. Goat. Goat. Donkey. Donkey. Fast. Fast. Slow slow, fat, fat, grass, feed, feed, ahrani. So these are the words and now let us continue with the next activity and this time you have to look at the picture and choose the correct word. So if you are ready, let's go. Look at the picture. A rabbit, a pig, what is this? And right you are, it's a pig. Let's move on. Is this a hen or a parrot? Definitely it's a hen, very good. Is it a giraffe or a cow? Well, it's a cow, very good. Is it a dog or a horse? Well, it's a horse, well done. Do you see a duck in the picture or a hen? Absolutely, it's a duck. Bravo! Is it a sheep or a cat? It's a sheep. Okay. Look, is it a horse or a goat in the picture? And you are right. It's a goat. Okay. Well, look at the picture. How are the turtles? Fast? or slow and right you are slow is the correct word well done I knew that you could do this easily so bravo and now as I have mentioned let us uh, revise some plural rules and learn and revise how to make plural sentences so let us remember some rules you know that as a rule, and normally, we add S at the end of the noun if we want to get a plural form, right? So look, pig, pigs. Okay, the next rule about the plural of nouns we know is that the nouns change their form. They do not take simply S in the end. So look, child, children. Woman, women. Do you remember? We talked about these things. Okay, the next rule that we already know about the plural is that the nouns that end in F, yes, they change F into V and we add ES ending. So we get leaf, leaves. So these are the rules you have already learned. But today, you have to remember one more. So, there are some nouns in the English language that have the same form in the singular form and in plural. Look, one sheep, many sheep. So, this might sound interesting and unusual to you, but this is the rule. And try to remember, sheep for one and sheep for many. So, let's see some examples before we start the activity. Well, here I have a sentence in singular. 
The pig eats grass. And we know the rule that for the third person singular we use the verb with s at the end, right? So the pig eats grass. But when we want to turn this sentence into plural, we have to follow the certain rule, right? So the pigs eat grass. Okay, so let's look at another example. The horse is fast and in this sentence we have to make the following changes. The horses are fast. So that's very easy. Okay, let us continue with the next exercise and this time you have to change the following sentences into plural. If you are ready, let's get started. Look, you can read the sentences together with me. A cow eats grass, so be very attentive. We used S at the end of the verb because we are talking about only one cow. What happens if we turn the sentence into plural? And right you are. We say cows eat grass. The next sentence. A rabbit runs fast. Okay. And the plural is rabbits run fast. Bravo! A pig is fat. What's the plural? Pigs are fat. Very good. A sheep is white. Do you remember the rule we have discussed today about this word sheep and its plural form? Right you are. Sheep are white. Very good. A hen gives eggs. What's the plural? Hens give eggs. Perfect. A parrot is bright. Parrots are bright. A duck is small. Turn the sentence into plural. Think a little. Very good. Ducks are small. Well done. So try to remember all these rules. And now let us continue with the reading session. We have to read a text about Tim and Anne and their time they spend uh, on uh, the farm and help their grandparents. After reading, you have to say if Tim and Anne like the animals on the farm. That is why. So that's why be very attentive and try to memorize as much information as possible. So let's continue. You can read together with me. Tim and Anne visited their grandparents in the village. This is what they say about their grandparents' farm. Let's see. Our grandpa and grandma live in the village. Yesterday we came to see them. We love to visit them. They have a little farm and we often help them. They have chickens and ducks, a cow, a pig and a horse. Every morning Grandpa and Grandma feed them. Today we got up early. We went to see the animals. We like to play and talk to them. My favorite is Jay-Z, the cow. It has big, kind eyes. My sister likes the horse. She is learning to ride it. So, this was the text. Now tell me, please, do children like the farm? Absolutely. Yes, they do. They even like to help their grandparents. Bravo! Okay, let's move on to the next activity. And this time, you have to read the sentences attentively. The sentences are based on the text and say true or false. Let's test your reading comprehension skills. So, if you are ready, let's go. The children came to the farm last week. Hmm, do you remember what has been mentioned in the text? It's false. They came yesterday. Bravo! They usually help their grandparents. And that's true. The farm is big. 
Hmm, is the farm really big? Do you remember? No, it's not. It's false. They have two horses on the farm. Do you remember how many horses were mentioned in the text? Only one means that it's false. Anne likes the horse. Yes, she does. She even learns to ride it. The children came to the farm last week. Again? No, they came yesterday. Bravo! Tim likes the horse too. Hmm, maybe he likes the horse, but what is his favorite animal? The cow. Bravo! Tim and Anne like to talk to animals. You are right. They do really like to talk to them. Very good. And now my question to you is, do you like riddles, Gichitor? Well, you do. So, let us read and guess the animal or bird. So, let's start. I have two legs. I give eggs. I have chickens. Who am I? Well, a hen. Bravo! I have four legs. I live on the farm. I eat grass. I give milk. I am a cow, of course. I have four legs. I live on the farm. I am strong. You can ride me. I am a bicycle. No? Of course not. This is a horse. Excellent. I have four legs. I am fat. I like to sleep. I am a... Hmm? I am a pig. Right you are. Well done. So, if you want to learn all the things that we have discussed in this video, you can rewatch it anytime you like. And if you want to exercise more, you can find some interactive exercises uh, below this video and practice more. So, that is all for today. See you next time.